Hey, my name's Nick. I'm with Sunshine State RVs in Gainesville, Florida. We are the number one Class B dealer in the state of Florida and number three in the whole United States of America. People ask me all the time, Nick, did you make that up? Is that something you just like off the top of your head, you come up with these numbers? No, according to statistical surveys, we sell more Class Bs in Florida than any other, any other RV dealer. So I'm not making that up. I do make up a lot of things, but I'm not making that up. But no one cares about us. What you guys are watching this video to watch is about these Class B RVs. So this is all we do, Class Bs. I love them. This is all we sell, this is all we buy, this is all we fix. We are the Class B guys here in Florida. And one of my favorite brands, one of my absolute favorite brands is Coachman. Coachman makes an absolute top of the line Class B RV. They make three of them, the Galleria on the Mercedes, the Beyond on the Ford, and the Nova on the ProMaster. So today, we're gonna to be talking about the Nova. It's a 21 foot, it's on a Ram ProMaster chassis. Uh, it's a V6, it's about 20 miles to the gallon, and this is the Li3 model. This is a brand new 2023, brand new Coachman Nova. So they make two floor plans. They make a C, which has the power couch in the back, and they make the rear bath, the RB. This is the RB. So to sum all that up, this is the 2023 Coachman Nova Li3 rear bath. So absolute best top of line that they make in the Nova product. But in this video, we're gonna be going through the RV on the outside, we're gonna jump on the inside. I'm excited to show you all about it. I'm excited for you guys to learn some new stuff about Coachman, about these Novas, and you see if this is the right RV for you. Some people, this is the perfect RV for them. Other ones need something bigger, smaller, for this, that. So there's a perfect RV for everybody out there, but we're gonna talk about the Nova today. So check this out. Okay, so we are outside of this Coachman Nova, and before we jump inside, because I know that's what you're waiting on, there are some really cool features about the outside of this Nova, so I'm about to walk you through them now. When you go camping, look at that mosquito, that's like the size of a stinking bird. I mean, what is, what's going on here? This is Florida, right? This is insane. So, I wasn't talking about the screens in a minute, but this thing has screens all the way around to stop you from those mosquitoes <laughs> haunting you at night. <laughs> this is insane. Um, so one of the coolest things about camping is you're not going to be in your RV all the time. And that's one of the big intrigues about a Class B is that it has everything on the inside you need, but the outside is really where you're going to hang out. So they do a great job of giving you a nice big awning. So this is a power awning. There's an LED light strip. I think Coachman was following my family around and they saw all those, uh, all the hanging Christmas lights my wife would put on our, our awning when we first got set up and the kids loved it and it brings back those memories for them. But it was a little a little ghetto sometimes when you just had these lights that half of them worked, half didn't. I had to go in the attic and get them from the Christmas pile. It was, it was always an adventure. But now Coachman thought about that and they have the fancy LED lights. But this awning can be controlled from an app on your phone. It can be controlled from inside the coach. It's a nice big awning. Um, and also when it's windy outside, if it catches a gust of wind, the awning will automatically go in. So that's pretty cool as well. But one of my favorite things about the outside of this Coachman Nova are these windows. So other brands make it an, an added cost to have these nice big windows. Um, Coachman includes them on every Nova. 
So every Nova, this is a standard feature. This is the, they're like an acrylic dual pane window. They are awning style, they call them. So they open all the way up, they close. You can have it open a little bit right there. You can have it open more right there. Or you can have them closed. So I love these windows. They give you lots of pass through ability. If somebody's in there cooking something, they can hand you drinks, they can hand whatever they want. It's just really nice to have these big windows for cross ventilation. There are four of them in this rear bath model. So two on this side, two on that side. Um, nice big step. So some class BRVs have a real thin step. Other ones have a little power step. So you go to open the door and you stand here for five seconds waiting on the step to open. Then you step on it, and then one time, you know what's gonna happen? You're gonna open the door and the step's not gonna come out. So, I love this nice big step. It goes the whole length, it's for the passenger door and the big sliding door, nice and big. It kinda gives that rugged look too. So, this one has, this Nova has the optional um, black wheels, upgraded rims, upgraded Firestone, Transforce tires. They are, they're, they're more rugged looking they have more tread on them. Um, and the black wheels, I think, on the overall look of the coach gives you a nice, a nice look to it. So I personally like this look for it. You know, something that Coachman does, they give you the roof rack, there's a ladder on the back, so lots of cool stuff. But, you know, I was talking about the screens a second ago because of the, the big mosquitoes that are the size of birds. Um, here is that screen. So you have a screen here, and it comes down, it stays down like that. Um, you also have a, this is a nighttime shade. So at nighttime, when you want total privacy, you have this shade here and, and, it, and if during the day you have it up, it does reflect the sun, which is nice. But if you want to put it up at night, it gives you complete blackout privacy from anything outside the coach. So really nice day and night shades on every one of the windows. So as we're going, you know, you have the awning out, you're hanging out. What I typically like to do is do all my cooking outside. There is a stove in there, which I'll show you in a second, but when you're outside, um, cooking, smoke, all that stuff is so much better, right? So you set up a little table here. There is a plug right here. So, um, so I like to plug in like a griddle or like an air fryer or an instant, something, however you decide to cook, you can do it right here off of this plug and it doesn't smell up your RV. You know, you do it under your awning, got some music playing, got your nice fancy LED lights on, and you can cook right here and enjoying God's creation. That's the whole reason you're doing this. Um, so you can be outside and enjoy the outdoors. So really nice that they give you a plug there. They give you the nice big awning. Um, as we're continuing to walk around the back here, hopefully the mosquitoes are not as bad over here as they were up there. I feel them on my legs. They're like running into me as they're flying. Um, this is the nice big ladder. So this ladder, you can climb up, check out your solar panels. There is a rack up there that you can put, um, you can store stuff on if you want. Uh, these come with solar panels. So that typically takes up most of the roof or, or, or solar panels, but people have opted to take the solar panels off and put like storage containers up there. So that way they can bring more stuff with them. Some people like stuff, some people hate stuff. So. Everybody travels different. Everybody uses these class B's different. So there is a tow hitch. So this tow hitch can tow, I think like 3,000 pounds, 3,500 pounds. Um, also it has a tongue weight of 500 pounds. So what that means is you can put a box back here and you can fill it with stuff. For the people that want stuff, you can put a little grill in here. You can put your little uh, griddle thing. You can put chairs, a little table. Um, some people have a box with a bike rack on top. So there's lots of cool um, different functions that you can use that box for back here. Now, um, back of the RV, there are these two big doors. And at the end, I'll show you how this kind of turns into a bathroom back here. But this door here has an optional bike rack. So we don't put the bike racks on them. Um, we leave them off because not everybody wants a bike rack. And so if, if, if I have an RV, that has a bike rack and you don't want one, you're not gonna buy it. So we leave bike racks off every single one and then as people want them, we have them in stock. It takes us a few hours and we just install it right there for you. So that's something that, that, that we do all the time. We have the bike racks in stock and we install them all the time, but it does have a nice optional bike rack right here. 
So now that we're on the other side of the coach, I can show you some of the RV functions over here. They kind of hide this on the back side when you're camping. This is kind of the back side of your campsite typically. Um, the rear bath model has two tanks. So there's a black tank under the toilet, you know, rear bath, rear toilet. So there's a black tank there. There's also, there's a gray tank here that, that goes under your sink. So your kitchen's in the front, so you have a gray tank here. You, you do have a black and gray tank there in the back, so you can see both of those. Um, and then these are your hookups. So you have your city water connection, your fresh water connection. This is your black tank flush. This is something you should only see in class A, big RVs. Now they're starting to put them in the class Bs, which I think is a great move. So you hook a hose up in there, and then you're spraying water into your black tank to sanitize it, clean it, flush it out, right? So you do have a cable hookup here. Um, something that Coachman gives you is pretty neat is a, a solar extension. So if you do feel the need for more solar, you can have a whole entire solar field and you can plug it in right there and juice those batteries up as high as you want. Um, so all this is here. You know, there's, there are some pros and cons. You know, people are like, oh, why can't you see it? I don't know, I'd rather see it and not have to bend down on my hands and knees to mess with it. So right here, it's all about waist high. So some people are challenged bending down. Um, this is really nice because everything's right here very easy to access. So something they started doing last year was this smart plug. And I talk about it in every video because I think, I think it's a great, um, a great innovation that Coachman has started using. And I, I know other companies use it. But something that I love is that you, you put the plug in there and when it makes a connection, it lights up. So that way you know you are connected. One of the biggest problems that we have is that plugs go into the outlet here and they don't make a solid connection so they start shorting out they start arcing and then they cause problems so i really like that there is a latch on it so that way even if someone's walking and they trip over your cord they're not going to accidentally unplug it because it kind of locks into place there so so i like that there's a latch it lights up and it's waterproof so some plugs just kind of go there and water can seep in this one here suctions it's waterproof water cannot get in it locks in there and it lights up when you go to use it so I know that's just a plug, but you'd be surprised how many phone calls I get. Nick, my RV doesn't work. Nothing works. Nothing works. Why not? I don't know. Go check your plug and plug it all the way in. Oh, that did it. Man, that's awesome. How? And so they're trying to avoid that. They're trying to avoid the number of phone calls I get from things not working, which is great. So like I talked about earlier, these awning style windows, they are on this side too. So there's two of them here, just like the two on the other side. And these both also have the same day the night shades, day shades, whatever it is you want. Um, and nice cross ventilation. So actually, if you look in there, can you, can you look in there, Nick, and see you have the, that's the backside of it. So pretty neat how you have the cross ventilation all the way through, um, all the way through there. So as we're walking this way, like I mentioned before, the nice big step. So there is this nice big step on the driver's side as well. And this is the LI3 model, so that is the lithium. So the lithium gives you lots of cool stuff. We will talk about that stuff more on the inside. But this is, this, this is the outside of, of the Nova. When we get inside, we'll, go, we'll get into all the specs and the lithium and all that stuff.
Okay, so now that we're inside this rear bath, you can really get a, an idea of why people love the inside of it as well. So it gives you a lot of possibilities on the outside, but once you jump in, you can see it truly is wide open. You know, I feel like I'm the sound of music lady here. I can spin around in circles. I mean, I'm a big dude. I'm six foot tall, 230 pounds, and, and I fit in here perfect. I can walk and move and do everything. You know, one of the really cool features about these new Novas, the 2023s, are they're coming with this Truma Aventi air conditioner. So right now, this air conditioner is on. In all of our past videos, I could never do the video with the air conditioner on because it's too loud. This is on right now. I can feel it. I'm not sweating. This is wonderful. It's a very, very quiet AC. That is one of the biggest complaints about RV air conditioners is how loud they are. It feels like you're sleeping underneath a train. Uh, they're just loud as can be. And this Truma AC is not loud, which is great. It, it, it uses less power than, than the, than the air, uh, air condition before the Dometic. So less power usage. Also, it's a thinner uh, trim line inside the coach. So it does give you more headroom. So like I said, I'm six foot tall. I can still get my hand over it. So plenty of room underneath it walking around. And on top, there's, it gives you more clearance. It's about two or three inches lower than, than the last air conditioner as well. So it, it, the height is not as high and it gives you more clearance. So it gives you more flexibility getting different garages, parking garages, drive-throughs, all that. So this AC has been a huge improvement that Coachman has made in these Novas. Um, so this is the LI3 model, like I said before. That stands for LI, stands for lithium. The three stands for, I don't quite know, maybe a 3000 watt inverter, maybe, um, I don't know, but they call it LI3, which is pretty cool, catchy name made by Lithionics. Um, and lots of cool features. So in 2023, you have 630 amp hours of lithium batteries, more than the past models, which only had 600. You have an upgraded BMS system. Everything's done by Lithionics. All the battery and stuff is under this bed. It's, it's pretty neat. It's this big, huge battery. My friend uh, Hank Strange from Stranger Palooza just did a big plant tour at Lithionics. I wanted to go with them, but I didn't get the chance to, but he came back ranting and raving about how great their company is, how great their batteries and all their stuff. He was, he was all about it. So watch that if you can, but Lithionics is a great company. They make great batteries, um, lots, lots of cool stuff. So you do have a 3000 watt inverter. You have solar panels all over the roof. You have the 630 amp hours of lithium batteries. So right now we have nothing else on nothing's plugged in the air conditioners on and there is this really cool app on my phone where you can see how long so right now the batteries are at 97 percent and if you see this little number right here on the bottom it says five hours and 49 minutes so that means at the current rate that we are using which is every light fridge and air conditioner being on we can go five hours and 49 minutes before this battery dies so how cool is that you're laying in bed you get up in the middle of the night because you have a little battery anxiety, which people have. They wake up like, crap, how much longer can my battery run? Grab your phone, look at it. Oh, I still got three hours. I still got five hours. Whatever that number is, your phone will tell you. You don't have to get up, use a flashlight and get all in the system and press all these buttons. Open your phone and it turns it right on. So this is a great app that Lithionics came out with. They just started doing this. So this is a huge improvement to the last models. So once we're looking in here, you can see everything's controlled by Firefly. So this Firefly right here controls your air conditioner. It controls all your lights. It gives you all your tank readings. And there again, there's a separate app for this as well, where you can see all of this stuff from your phone. Also, you don't have to come up here and use a magnifying glass. You can do it all from your phone. Um, this is your solar controller, your Xantrax um, inverter controller. This is part of your Truma. So this is your hot water and your furnace. Um, this is where you turn your batteries on and off. You have different controls up here, gray tank, Wi-Fi, which I'll talk about in a second. And that's where you turn your propane on and off. But this is the new Lithionics battery monitor. So this is the same monitor that the Galleria has and beyond. And I do think it's worth mentioning that there's the same lithium system in this RV that the Galleria has, that the Beyond has. 
and now the Nova. So all of them have the exact same lithium solar inverter. They all have the same lithium system. There's not one just because the gallery is bigger and more expensive than on a Mercedes. It doesn't have upgraded cabinets. It doesn't have upgraded lithium. It doesn't, it has the same stuff. It's the same RV, just on a different chassis and a little bigger. So, so pretty, I like how Coachman does that. Not all companies do that. Um, there are some companies that do different lithium models on different um, or different lithium systems on different models. I like, I like how Coachman does that. Um, something else that's pretty cool they do is these Amish cabinets. So all the cabinetry and all three of their coaches um, are all made in an Amish factory there in Middlebury, Indiana. I've actually been up there. I've seen the horse and buggies on the road with a license plate. So a horse and buggy going down the road with a license plate on it. I've never seen that. Being a Florida boy, you don't get that kind of stuff in Florida, but there are horse and buggies in Indiana that have license plates. There is a big Amish community up there. I've eaten at an Amish bakery up there, which was phenomenal. Um, Amish food was really good, but their cabinetry is absolute top of line. So this comes in a maple, which is, this is the maple with the cashmere. Um, it also comes with a white wood with a fog interior. So there are a couple different options on wood-wise, but I like all the cabinetry. I, I like the drawers. They're all dovetail. They're all real wood. Everything, everything in this coach is real wood. So very, very impressive. Um, it's actually something pretty cool I learned the other day. This is the sink cover, right? So this goes over the sink. Nice big round sink, you can actually function in it. Um, and I always wonder what these slats were for. And so I always just thought that that's how I don't know, just you got humidity out of the sink, whatever. They're made to put plates in them. I know your mind is blown right now by hearing that. You can put plates in there or silverware or anything and it just dries. So it's like a built-in drying system. Guys, I'm full of fun facts. So pretty neat how that is the case. Um, this does have the induction stove. So this is a flat top where you can cook here you can make sandwiches i probably wouldn't cook a lot in the rv um, i'd make sandwiches here i like cooking outside the rv so this for me would be more of a countertop that can be used for um for stuff you, you, like storing stuff making stuff um not really for cooking but there is plenty of room to cook here and all that there's a microwave there's a fridge um the fridge here is a nova cool so you have a freezer in here as well Everybody always asks me how many Ben and Jerry's fits in there. More than I am allowed to eat. I can tell you that. But um, when I say allowed, I'm choosing not to because I have four young children that I need to be healthy and active for. Um, something pretty cool that Coachman does is they give you this extra stereo here. This stereo does have Bluetooth. So if you did want to listen to some music in the back, you hook your, your phone up to it. You can play music. And there's speakers all through here, speakers all through here. You can listen to music there. There's also a 24 inch LG TV. So what's neat is you can swivel this thing out. You can lay in the bed and you can have your food. You can watch TV. You can enjoy the outside. Um, everything from right here. How great is this? I mean, plenty of space, lots of room. So this smart TV does hook to the Wi-Fi Ranger that is built into the RV. So every single coachman, it's not an option, it's not uh, an extra cost, just like the Windows, Smart TV, um, every coachman comes with um, a Wi-Fi Ranger. So it's an upgraded core model of the Wi-Fi Ranger. Uh, you put a SIM card in there and you have internet everywhere you go. So you hook your Smart TV up, you find the Wi-Fi for your Wi-Fi Ranger, and then all of a sudden now, you can watch Netflix, Amazon, Hulu, ESPN Plus, Disney Plus, whatever it is you want to watch, you can watch it all from your smart TV. Some people take an Apple TV and they plug that in, they can do all that as well. So lots of flexibility. No, no more is there a need for the big satellite dishes on top and you're paying all these monthly services for. Everything now can be done through a smart TV, which is great. Um, nice lagoon table. So this lagoon table serves as lots of purposes, right? They always do. So you can sit here, you can work like this, you can have, you can play cards, you can eat. Um, you can also lay in bed and you can work here and you can also stream from your laptop up to your smart TV. So you got a nice working thing. More and more every day when people come in saying they wanna work from their RV as they're traveling. 
And so Coachman, along with the, a lot of the other brands, are listening to that, and they're making these a lot more uh, working friendly, the way they're set up, the way they're pre-wired and wired for everything. So pretty neat for this Lagoon table. I'm a big fan of Lagoon. I think they're great, great quality, very light, very easy to use, very cool. So as you're coming through here, you do have two twin beds. So these beds are about six foot two, six foot three. I think this one's an inch or two longer than this one. Um, there again, I am six foot tall and I can lay on these, let me get rid of this, very comfortably here. Um, lots, of, lots of space when you wanna get out of bed. You just drop your feet down and you just pop right out of bed. I don't know if they're supposed to be used like that or like that. That seems to me like when you sleep on it, you know, I don't know. Be interesting uh, question to ask them. How is it designed like that or like that? Let me know your opinions. It's pretty neat. Um, so behind the, the beds here, you do have a plug. So that has USB ports there. You have uh, four USB ports. I can't imagine needing to charge four things at once. Um, and then, and then on this side, you do have the bigger Firefly system here. So this Firefly, there are apps for it here. Um, so you scan the QR code, takes you right to the app, you download it. You can control all this no matter where you're from. So you hook your Firefly up to your Wi-Fi Ranger, and then you can control everything everywhere. So you notice we've been in this RV, we're not plugged in, the engine's not on, AC is working this whole time, lights are working, fridge is on, everything's running on the lithium battery. So let me grab my phone here and we can see, so now we're down to five hours and 40 minutes. So this, that's a pretty accurate, when we looked at it a minute ago, it was five hours, 49 minutes. So it's, it doesn't give you a false reading. It is, I mean, I've probably been talking for nine minutes, right? Yeah, so that's, that gives you a real reading of really how long you have at the current state you are using. I always like doing these little tests to make sure that everything is working as advertised. Um, but I know I said a minute ago, but this cross ventilation is huge. Um, you want to put the screens up so the mosquito birds don't come in and carry you, carry you away. So lots of storage here. I really like how Coachman gives us all the stores. And I like the carpet in here. I like how it's padded. It's not just like a wood material where things slide around and make noise. They do give you that extra insulation. It is padded in here. And I think the, what do they call this? Frosted glass is a nice touch. I think that it's more, it's nicer than just the, the straight panels. So I think this is a nice touch um, to have. So lots of space, there is some storage under these, storage up here. A lot of people use the middle part to slide things in from the back door. So it gives you a lot of storage there as well. So lots of cool things about this rear bath model, but you notice we haven't talked about the rear bath yet. So I'm gonna jump around, we're gonna switch places. And I want to show you guys how big and how awesome this rear bathroom really is. So this is a little awkward. Uh, there's a video of me on a toilet in the back of an RV. Um, but I will assure you there's no funny business going on. This is to show you how big this bathroom is. Again, like I've said, I'm six foot tall, 230 pounds. I fit absolutely perfect back here to stand here. To, I mean, I'm standing, I'm not touching anything, I'm sitting, I'm moving, lots of room. This is why people, I mean, the twin beds are great, the openness down the middle is great, the big windows and all that the rear bath model gives you, but people love this big bath. This is one of our most popular selling floor plans. They make it in the Beyond, they make it in the Nova, other brands make it as well. But in the Nova and in the Beyond, people love this floor plan because the rear bath gives you lots of space and they even give you a lot of storage. I mean, look, look, look at those nice dovetails. I mean, that stuff you have in your house on really high-end cabinets, not typically what you would have in an RV. So you got three big drawers here, which are really nice. You have a nice big wardrobe cabinet. So two options here. Um, this has, so you have shelves or you have a hanging rod there. So you can hang shirts, you can take those shelves out, you can hang shirts. You got a nice little granite, corian, quartz, whatever this material is, countertop here. So you can put whatever you want. Um, you do have a shower curtain if you do need that. And that does protect the wood here, which is, uh, you know, it can get a little wet. You don't want to soak it, but it can get a little wet. But this is, this is the door to separate you from out there. So 
this door here moves and it kind of gives you the privacy to where you know things can be back here um so as we're in here you can also see this is pretty neat this has a screen so we can keep these back doors open put the screen to, oh my gosh another mosquito look at that thing these mosquitoes are everywhere you can put oh i see it it's coming for me you can put there it is it left oh 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 you can put the the screen down so stinking mosquito it's on <laughs> it's on your face you might want to stop okay we're good mosquito crisis has been averted um so you can put this down to prevent the mosquitoes from coming in you do have your toilet they give you a little cool sink in here so um a lot of people are not fans of brushing their teeth in their kitchen they they like brushing their teeth in the bathroom um and then so this can be your shower head this is also how you do all this stuff here so there's a a lot of look at that a lot of cool features back here you brush your teeth wash your hands and then dump it back and it drains um, something else that's pretty neat you have a little medicine cabinet up here you got stuff here for toothbrushes and soap on the door there there's a there's a toilet paper holder that is waterproof i mean nobody wants wet toilet paper so as as i'm showing you all of this stuff you can really see how functional and and how much space and room is in this rear bathroom and this is this is really one of the big draws to this rv having that extra space having the storage the extra storage here the extra space it just gives you sometimes those side bathrooms just aren't big enough and this this gives you that extra space if you need a bigger bathroom while you're traveling for showering using the bathroom whatever it is you need this gives you that extra space so this has been the nova the new 2023 nova rear bath li3 model my name's nick with sunshine state rv something pretty cool we deliver these things for free anywhere in the country so anywhere you are we will we will get this to your house within a few days um, we deliver for free if you don't want it delivered if you want to come into gainesville we will fly you into town we will teach you how to use it we'll put you up for free at a campground for a few nights teach you how to use everything we're there with you the whole time you are learning how to use your rv give you a very thorough walkthrough um, really i mean our goal is when you leave our dealership with your new rv you are 100 confident that you know how to work everything in the coach so we're there with you i i'm there every day people always ask are you really there i, I am there every day helping you find your rv helping once you do find it helping that process go smooth and easy for you so watch our other videos check out our website it's sunshinestaterv's.com i really appreciate everybody watching our videos and supporting us it's been great thank you